seals are good, oxygen's good. Just do what you did last time and you're fine. Follow my one simple rule. Hella, what's my one simple Listen rule? Listen to Lynn, boss lady knows best. Exactly. Listen to me, mining's just like any other job. Go steady, go safe, go home with a pocket full of credits at the end of the day. Yeah, totally. It's just like, um, yeah, I work in the Stardock, except uh, with more cave-ins, lasers, and accidental dismemberment. Very helpful. Thank you. Ah, you're gonna be fine. Your first outing was solid. And, you know, let's be honest, it ain't exactly astrophysics. That's why I keep him around. Good pep talks. Yeah, and the fact that I can pinpoint a helium deposit from 300 meters. <laughs> Not untrue. A shame we won't find any down here. But the metal deposits alone should pay for our own helium. Hell, after this, we'll have enough jump fuel to bounce from one end of the settled systems to the next. Hey, more minerals, more money. And so the cycle repeats itself. Just no more unauthorized jumps in the house for room space, okay? He's just a big baby. There are worse lives. You know, most Dusties don't even make it this far. I have a good feeling about you. Right, group hug now or at the end of the shift? One of these days, Hella, I am going to leave you behind. Promises, promises. Always. Uh, but not you. Check on Isabel. Make sure she eases up on the breach. I don't feel like getting buried alive today. Roger that. Remember, Dusty. Keep your breathing steady, and never take that helmet off down here. Oxygen processors don't extend this far. Yeah, because God forbid we drill on a rock with a breathable atmosphere. Know what I love about working in freestyle collecting space? Drop like this in the night of horror? Huh. And red tape. glimmer, but it's weak. What do you think? Stay the course? No, ma'am. Juice ain't worth the squeeze. Well, okay, then. Let's call this one tapped. Why don't you move over to that big vein we looked at? Yes, ma'am. Ella, get the readings. Yeah, about that. Problem? Uh, not if you consider a spike in gravity readings a problem. I don't. You don't? 
what we're after, it'll read as an anomaly. That's what I was told in anyway. Okay, now you're starting to freak me out. Relax. Getting close. Yeah, I think. Yeah, everything is just. <laughs> You're up. Something goes wrong in there. We'll come get you. Uh, <laughs> why would anything go wrong? Would you shut up? Both of you do your jobs. Client is on his way. Um, still getting weird gravity readings. I, I guess that's a good thing. Just keep going. Do you see anything? Come on. Okay, take it easy. You were out cold. Uh, no physical damage. Mentally, the jury's still out. You know who you are? New recruit for Argos Extractors? Ring any bells? Any of this look familiar?
Huh, forgot. Former diplomat, right? You must have said the wrong words to the wrong people to wind up here. Well, you got the sample. Client's on his way, then we all get paid. You remember anything that happened? Huh. Well, you passed out, that's for sure. Everything else? Probably just your brain playing tricks. Either way, we got what we were looking for. All this trouble for that stupid thing? Huh. Sure don't look like much. Never mind what it looks like. It's worth more than this mine has pulled in all month. We'll be... Speak of the devil. Client is here. The explorers group? <laughs> Thought they were kind of a joke. Not a joke. You're just too young to know better. Hey, Once I'm we just sell saying they rock, got a reputation. We can start packing up. Hell, I bet half the crew here doesn't even believe they really exist. Half the crew doesn't believe Earth exists, but it's still there. Same with Constellation. Yeah, but come on. Exploring space? <laughs> Who does that anymore? Ain't the space we've already got complicated enough? Not to them, apparently. All right, Dusty. Airlock. Hey, you did a good job, all right? Argos needs people like you. Now let's go. Client is here. Let's go. time. <laughs> yes, it has. That mine on Bindi, right? Kazal. Hellhole. Like this place. Rare mineral contract. Your tastes are a bit more sophisticated now, huh? So, you found something? Right here. The new guy found it. That right. And everything went cool? Just like grabbing those minerals on Bendy? Kazal. And no, Barrett. Not cool. He passed out after the extraction. Woke up saying all kinds of nonsense. Is that right, cowboy? Went on a trip, huh?
All right. A little disappointing, not gonna lie, but reveling in the weird of space isn't everyone's idea of a good time. I get it. Look, just hand over the credits, and I'll be happy to never see this thing, or you, ever again. That's why I like you, Lynn. All business. Barrett, the scanners on the frontier are reporting a ship coming in hot from orbit. I really thought I'd lost them. Now, that was some fine work on the pressure. You dug up the artifact, right? That means you saw it. The visions? You're coming with me to Constellation. You're part of this now. You ever stare up at the stars at night wondering what's out there? Well, that's us. That's where we go. Marvelous. Oh, no, Barrett. No. You think you're just going to take off after the mess you caused? All right. I guess I did just put you all on the Crimson Fleet hit list. How about I stay and I send your Dusty here in my place? I, I, I know, I know, but he's not some miner anymore, Lynn. Soon as he touched that rock, something changed. Don't tell me you can't feel it. Fine. It's a deal. Get out of here, Dusty. You're on to bigger things. Just go. Before I say something, I regret. Well, none of that's settled. Vasco, get him to the lodge. No deviations unless absolutely necessary, okay? Protocol Indigo. Indigo? Again. Very well. Oh, and hey, take this. You'll find it very useful out there. And it even tells the time. Hey, look at that. The watch fits you perfectly. Now, questions?
And Vasco, don't let him break my ship.
drones and fleet ships are jumping into our location, Captain. facility with our Crimson Fleet captain is on the surface.
Be careful, Captain. Alien creatures are often unpredictable. space. It then stands to reason that this was once a secret UC facility.
during combat. tried to sync with the neural control interface, it just completely flipped out. Broke through its containment chamber like it was made out of paper. It killed Michelson, Cobb, and Sumatri in all of one minute. I'm not, I'm not even sure where it is now. It took off deeper into the facility, a uh, uh, security You will not be able to walk at lot. full speed with your pack. That full. We're going to make a run for the comm relay. Try to I'm detecting a call in the cabin. We could make sure hey, whatever we do. Xenobiologist. Wishing he had gone to dentist school like his parents wanted.
gotta be kidding me. The Frontier has a new captain? You working with Barrett, or did you pry the ship keys out of his cold, dead hands? Oh, <laughs> no. You see, maybe your colleague Barrett didn't tell you, but there's a bit of a legend surrounding that ship. That constellation keeps treasure hidden in the cargo bays, the loot from a hundred planets, and it's going to be ours. That statement is partially correct. The Frontier has been to many planets and moons, but the only things held in the cargo bays are spare parts, dust, desiccated food particles, and a variety of species of ant. I don't care what kind of lies Barrett programmed that robot to say. We're taking that ship. You're not talking us out of this score. Don't give me that. I know that ship is stocked with loot. Oh, that... That can't be right. You... You mean that, don't you? You really haven't found anything on board? That's, uh... Not a bad point. Can't believe this. There isn't any treasure? We've been trailing that old Constellation ship for nothing? Get out of here. Take your robot and your ship and get out of here. I see you all again, you're dead. We should now be free to travel to Constellation's headquarters without Crimson Fleet interference. Centauri system, and then land in the city of New Atlantis. Do not worry, this will all become second nature before too long.
United Colony secured. Maintain course and prepare to be scanned. Scan complete. No contraband detected. You are cleared for landing at New Atlantis. I can assure you this unprovoked attack on a Water is quite aesthetically pleasing, or so Barrett has told me. New Atlantis relies on advanced hydroelectrics for most of its power. city, but Constellation is an entirely neutral entity, and always has been. Here we are, the Lodge. The front door should unlock if you hold up the watch that Barrett gave you. I have messaged the other members of Constellation. They will be waiting for us. Welcome to Constellation. We have a lot to talk about. Would you care to tell us what happened to our friend? Why you're here and he isn't? I see. Vasco, verify. All statements made have been factual. Ugh. This is just typical. Barrett hands over our ship and our robot to some random employee of that discount mining outfit he uses. Walter. And if we hadn't insisted on installing those emergency protocols, I guarantee you this rock breaker here would be halfway to Neon. But that didn't happen. He's here with the artifact. Thank you, Matteo. Now, let's focus on what's in front of us, shall we? What happened when it was extracted? Did anyone see anything? Hear anything?
Interesting. Similar to Barrett's description of the experience, with less embellishment. Are you hearing this? Do you all believe me now? Whether it happened or not wasn't in doubt. If you expect us to believe in fairy tales. If this is the greatest mystery in the universe, why couldn't it be part of the ultimate mystery? But gentlemen, can we please focus? Noel, I think it's time we tested your theory. Right, let's see. We know the artifacts react to each other. The pieces we already have move when they're in close contact. Now, if we add this new one to the two we already have... The artifact. If you could place it on the table here. That's it. Just like the others. And to imagine, we thought there were only two of them at first. Oh my god, that's it. They're reacting. Look at how it's coming together. That energy that's arcing between them, no manufactured material in the settled systems can do that. None of them. This proves... Easy, that. girl. Breathe. You'll have a heart attack. She's not the only one. If they're coming together, that means there's a set. Built by an intelligence outside the settled systems. Still 2,000 credits for our little wager? That's right. You're on, Walter. Well, if we had all the answers, it wouldn't be exciting. Now, would it? Not to take away from the moment, but what are we going to do about our new friend here? <laughs> so, are you ready to get to work? See if exploration is the life you want to lead in this little universe of ours? You should take some time to get settled in. Introduce yourself to everyone. Some of our members aren't here, but you'll meet them soon. Come find me when you're ready. You and I are going to be doing some traveling together. Get your feet wet. And here, I think you've earned something for bringing the artifact to us. In addition to credits, why don't we set you up with a backpack with some boost capability? Hmm? You'll need it out in the field anyway. Just mind your head. What can I help you with? So, are you ready to get to work? Or was there something else? We're going to be doing some old-fashioned detective work. The artifacts are relatively inert once they're out of bedrock. That means people can pass them around, not even knowing what they are. I've been letting my contacts know to be on the lookout for strange metal objects. Get back a lot of noise, usually. But a tip from the UC Vanguard sounds promising. So long.